Welcome to Little Joy Shards. Today, we're gonna to learn how to make these square grid slippers. The materials that you'll need, you'll need a six millimeter crochet hook, and the yarn that we'll be using was provided by We Crochet. I'm using Mighty Stitch Bulky Yarn in a color Celestial, and Mighty Stitch in the color um, Ash. All that information will be listed down below. So, the sizes for this slipper, I'll be going over size small, medium, and large. This slipper is created from the toe to the heel. So we'll be working in the round around the toe, then we'll open up to create the heel and close it off. All right, also before you start this pattern, please check your gauge, which will be right here. All right, let's hop into this tutorial. We're gonna begin by making a magic ring. If you can't make a magic ring, all you need to do is chain four and slip stitch into that first chain to form a ring. So chain one. For this round, we're gonna place 14 single crochets into the ring. But when we make it to the 14th single crochet, we're gonna change colors on the very last stitch. So pause your video here and continue with your 14 single crochets. We've made it back around and I'm about to complete my 14th stitch, but remember we're changing colors on this very last stitch. So go into the loop, pull up a loop, you'll have two loops on your hook. We're gonna drop your working yarn and pick up your new color. So wrap the new color around your hook and pull through. Now your colors have changed. We're gonna slip stitch into that very first single crochet to join. After this point, you can tighten up your work. You see I was open right there? Pull your strand, tighten up your work. There we go. So for round number two, it's really simple. What we're gonna do, we're gonna chain one. We're gonna place two single crochets back into the very same space. You can tell it's the same space because it tense up when you pull it. So that's one, back into the same space, and two. Uh-oh. Messed up my second one. Two. That is gonna be your pattern repeat all the way around. So we're gonna place two single crochets in each stitch all the way around. And once again, uh, on our last stitch, we're gonna change colors. So pause your video here. We made it to the last stitch in round number two. So we're gonna insert the hook, pull up a loop. We'll have two loops on your hook. Now we're gonna change colors. Let's drop that main yarn and pick up your secondary color and pull through. Now slip this to join into that very first single crochet. The next three rounds are gonna be a repeat. So we're gonna chain one, and also we're not changing colors for the next three rounds. We're gonna back loop single crochet into that first stitch and in each stitch all the way around. Just in case you don't know where your back loops are, you see right here how you have a V? That back loop right here will be the stitch that you work into. Back loop right here is the stitch that you'll work into. So pause your video here, continue placing one single crochet in your back loops for a total of three rounds. Pause your video here and I'll meet you at the completion of your rounds. We've made it back around at the end of round number five and we're going to put that last back loop single crochet but we're gonna change colors on that last stitch. We're gonna drop that working yarn and pick up your secondary color. Yarn over and pull through. At the end of round number five, you should have a total of 28 stitches. If you notice like a little bumps going down your work, don't worry about it. This will be the underside of your shoe, so slipper. Don't worry about it. So to begin round number six, we're gonna slip this to join into that very first single crochet. Chain one. Now we're gonna back loop single crochet into that first stitch. You know it's the first stitch because it pops up a little bit right here. So do that back loop single crochet. All right, now we're gonna do a connected quadruple single crochet. Before we do this stitch, I want to give you a little bit of stitch anatomy. So to work these stitches, we're gonna be going into the front loop of each stitch for four rows. So this row, drop down one, two, 
three, four. These stitches can be difficult to find, but don't worry. I'm going to give you some visual cues so you'll be able to work through these super easy. So for the first stitch, we're going to go into the front loop of that top row, that next stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Now we're going to drop down a row. Finding the next row, like I said, can be difficult. Let me find a good angle on my camera. Imagine, see how this stitch is pulled up like an upside down U where my pointer finger is. We are going to turn our work sideways. So follow the end of that loop, follow it horizontal, and that first vertical stitch right here will be the stitch you're working into. So insert there, yarn over, and pull up a loop. Don't worry, we're going to do this a couple times. Once again, you see how I'm pulling and this stitch kind of pulls and tents out. Turn your work sideways go horizontal and that very first vertical stitch is the stitch you'll be working into. Yarn over, pull up a loop. We're going to drop one last row for the fourth one. So once again, if you can't see, see where the stitch pulls up. Sometimes you have to pull it tight. It pulls right here, follow it horizontal, that first vertical stitch. We're going to do this a couple times, so don't worry. So now you're going to yarn over and pull through two loops four times. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, ooh, ooh, pull through, yarn over and pull through <laughs> until there's no more loops stuck on your hook. Let me zoom in just a little bit so I can give you guys a better look. So now we're going to continue this simple pattern repeat. We're just going to back loop single crochet into the next three stitches. All right, you see your next three stitches, one, two, three. Sometimes people get confused and can't find the next stitch. I'll give you another cue on where to find your stitch. If you notice, when you pull right here and a stitch pulls, that one is not your stitch. The stitch that does not pull is the stitch you'll be working into. So three back loop single crochets, one, two, and three. That is our pattern repeat. We're going to do a quadruple or connected quadruple single crochet followed by three back loop single crochets. All right, let's work it together. Turn your work sideways. There we go. So you can see exactly what you're working into. Here's one, two, three, and four. So we're going to go into that first stitch, the front loop, pull up a loop, drop down, follow that U, horizontal, that first vertical stitch at the end of your U. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Once again, if you can't find your stitch, you see where it's tinted right here. Go over that first vertical stitch when you pull it tight. It's right here. And the very last one should be on the matching color. If you can't find it, remember once again, pull your work tight. Here's the end of that U. Go horizontal. And the first stitch is right here. Yarn over and pull through two until there's no more loops on your hook. One, two, three, and four. All right, I'm going to work through this one more time with you a little bit quicker. So back loop, single crochet into the next three. One, two, and three. And connected quadruple single crochet. That is a mouthful. So go into the first loop, pull up a loop. Next, pull up a loop. Third row, pull up a loop. Find that stitch. Ooh, can't find it. There it is. And the fourth one, pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two until there's no more loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. That is going to be your pattern repeat all the way around. So back loop single crochet into the next three stitches, followed by a connected quadruple single crochet. And on this next scene, I'm going to give you a, 
a stitch marker or a key to help you find each one of your rows. So make sure you pause your video right there while you're doing this tutorial so you can see exactly where to put your stitches. We're going to insert our hook into the front loop of the next stitch. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Shift your work sideways. Do you see the arch caused by the pulling of the last stitch? That's our guide. Follow this line horizontally until you reach your first vertical loop. Insert hook, yarn over and pull up a loop. We're gonna use the same guide again. Do you see the arch caused by the pulling of the last stitch? Follow the line horizontally and look for the first vertical stitch. Insert hook, yarn over and pull up a loop. Once again, look for your markers. Find the arch, then horizontal, and first vertical loop. Insert hook, yarn over, and pull up a loop. Now, yarn over and pull through two loops until there's no more loops left on your hook. We've made it back around of round number six. As you can see, I just completed my last connected quadruple single crochet and I have two stitches remaining. So we're gonna back loop single crochet into those last two stitches. And on our very last stitch, we're gonna change colors. So insert your hook into the back loop, pull up a little stitch, drop your work. Remember you have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through and colors are changed. Now we're just going to slip stitch into the first single crochet to join. All right, this begins round number seven. Round number seven, eight and nine are exactly the same. We will not be changing colors, so we're gonna be sticking with this color right here for the next three rows. We're just repeating this blue one down here. So we're gonna chain one and back loop single crochet into each stitch around. And at the end of each round, make sure you slip stitch to join. So pause your video here, continue placing back loop single crochets for the next three rounds. This round right here also counts as one. We've made it to the end of round number nine and we're just gonna work that last stitch together. So remember that last stitch, we are gonna change colors halfway through. So insert your hook, yarn over. You have two loops on your hook. Drop that main working yarn and pick up your other color. Yarn over and pull through. Your color's changed. To start round number 10, we are going to slip this to join. And chain one. This round is going to be worked just like this previous round that's worked in the gray, but we're just going to stagger the stitches just a little. So let's back loop single crochet into the next three stitches, including the first stitch. One, two, and three. And we're going to quadruple, connect the quadruple single crochet into the next. All right, so insert your hook into the front loop of the first row. Turn your work, go into the second row. Third row. And fourth row. Once you do this enough, you'll start to move fast. And remember, yarn over and pull through two until there's no more loops on your hook. One, two, three, and four. And now, once again, you're gonna back loop single crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, and three. That is going to be our pattern repeat all the way around. So you're going to connect a quadruple single crochet into the next stitch, followed by back loop single crochet into the next three stitches all the way around. So pause your video here and I'll meet you on the last few stitches. We are on the last stitch of round number 10. So we're going to do a connected quadruple single crochet to end. So go into that first one, pull up a loop, Second one, pull up a loop. Third one, pull up a loop. 
and that fourth row pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two until there's two loops left on a hook because remember we're going to change colors at the end so yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two stop we're going to pick up that new yarn yarn over and pull through two let's slip stitch to join into that very first single crochet the next rows is going to be a pattern repeat so you're going to repeat rounds three through ten one and a half times ending on round six so don't worry i'll leave a timestamp below on exactly where round three starts so what you're going to do you're going to go through rounds three through ten once then in a second time around you're just going to do round three through six and stop you'll be stopping on a row that's the main square color so pause your video here Continue rounds three through ten one and a half times and I'll meet you when you're complete Did you finish those additional 12 rounds? If so, this is what your work should look like Let's finish the last two stitches on round number 22 This will be two back loop single crochets We will not be changing colors on the very last stitch We're just going to slip stitch to join and fasten off your work All right, so here is our seam. We want to put the seam underneath the slipper. So in order to do that, we're going to count over five connected quadruple single crochets. So let's count over. Here's one, two, three, four, five. And we're going to attach the yarn to the stitch to the right of your, I can't say the word, connected quadruple single crochet. So I'll show you one more time. Let's count over five from the beginning. So here is your, where you just fastened off. One, two, three, four, five. We're attaching the yarn to the stitch before your last, we'll call that a post stitch or whatever it is. All right, now we're gonna connect the new color. Chain one. We are going to back loop single crochet all the way around, but we're going to skip the last four stitches. So let's do a back, oops, it's blurring out, back loop single crochet. All the way around. But we're going to skip the last four stitches. So pause your video here and I'll meet you at the last four stitches. Okay, we have four stitches remaining. We are no longer working in the round. We'll be working in regular rows. So this will be called row number two that we're going to next. So we're going to chain one. Now we are going to turn our work to keep the pattern consistent. This time we are going to front loop single crochet all the way across. So instead of going into that back loop, we're going to go into that front loop right there. So pause your video here and continue to do front loop single crochets all the way across. You should still have a total of 24 stitches. For row number three, we're going to chain one, turn your work, and to keep this pattern consistent, we're just going to back loop single crochet in each stitch all the way across. So pause your video here, continue placing back loop single crochets all the way across. At the end of row number three, you're going to fasten off your work and we're not going to turn. We are going to work on the opposite side, the side without the tail. So attach your yarn with your new color. Please make sure you have still have 24 stitches because stitch count matters. So let's attach our yarn. Let's start with a chain one. This is work just like your previous rows in the gray. We are going to back loop single crochet in the first three stitches. One, two, and three. And now it's going to be a connected quadruple single crochet into the next stitch, just like before. Turn my work sideways so I can see. and go into that fourth one. 
Sorry you can't see what I'm doing. Sometimes my stuff slips while, while I'm filming. All right, that is gonna be the pattern repeat. Back loop single crochet into the next three stitches, followed by a quad connected quadruple single crochet into the next. So pause your video here and we'll work those last few stitches together at the end of the row. We've made it to the last stitch in row number four and your last stitch should be a connected quadruple single crochet. So let's work that together. It's kind of difficult to do it on a side end because it's hard to see exactly where all your loops are. Let me get that first loop, pull up, second row, one, two, pull up, third row, pull up a stitch and drop down to that fourth row pull up a stitch and remember yarn over and pull through two and there there's no more loops on your hook. All right, at the end of this row, I want you to fasten off your work. This time we are going to turn our work. So turn your work and I want you to attach your new yarn to the very end. Remember this time we are turning your work. You're attaching your yarn to the end with the tail. And chain one. Like before, we are going to front loop single crochet. So let's go into that front loop. First stitches are always hard. Ugh. And you're going to continue to front loop single crochet all the way across. Sorry guys, I'm trying to weave in my ends all at the same time. So pause your video here, continue placing front loop single crochets in each stitch all the way across and I'll meet you at the other side. We've just completed row number five. So now we're going to turn our work. Don't forget to chain one. And for this row, we're just going to back loop single crochet into each stitch all the way across. Just like these uh, previous row. So back loop single crochet in each stitch across. Pause your video here and I'll meet you at the other side. We've made it to the end of row number six. So once again, we are going to turn our work and don't forget to chain one. And now we're just going to front loop single crochet in each stitch across. Pause your video here, continue doing front loop single crochets across, and I'll meet you at the other side. We've made it to the end of row number seven, and you're just going to fasten off your work. At the end of this row, we will turn. So make sure you're turning your work so you see the front side of your work and your tail is on the right. So now we're just going to attach the yarn, the new color, to that very first single crochet. and chain one. I always hate working after the change colors. All right, for the very first stitch, we are going to back loop single crochet into that very first stitch. I hate back looping after changing colors. It is so hard. Come on, go through, go through. Got it, okay. Once you have that first back loop single crochet, we are going to start with our connected quadruple single crochet. So remember, go into the front loop of that next stitch. Front loop, pull up a loop, drop down a row. Pull up a loop, drop down a row. Pull up a loop and drop down into that fourth row with this matching color. And pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all two loops until there's nothing left on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. And now um, starts our familiar pattern repeat. Thank goodness. So remember, we're gonna back loop single crochet into the next three stitches. One, two, and three followed by a connected quadruple single crochet. So pause your video here and continue with that pattern repeat. 
we've made it almost to the end of row number eight. And you should have two stitches remaining after your last connected quadruple single crochet. So make sure you back loop single crochet into the both of those. And on your very last stitch, you're going to fasten off your work. The next three rows are going to be very, well, actually the same as this last row here and here. So you're going to turn your work, make sure your tail is on your right hand side. For row number nine, you are going to front loop single crochet all the way across. For row number 10, turn your work and you will back loop single crochet all the way across. And for row number 11, you are once again front loop single crochet all the way across. So pause the video here and continue with your next three rows. We've made it almost to the end of round number 11. And let's not forget, we are gonna change colors on that very last row. So let's do our front post single crochet. Pull up a loop, two loops on your hook, and we're going to change colors now. Make sure you pull your ends to tighten up your row. And chain one, and let's turn our work. If you are working on a small, this will be your last row of your pattern repeat. So for this row, we are going to back loop single crochet in the next three stitches. So let's find that first back loop. One. Two. And three. And just like before, we're gonna do a connected quadruple single crochet. So go into that front loop, pull up a loop. Let's turn our work sideways so we can see our stitches. Drop down a row, drop down to the third row. Let me see, here it is. And finally drop down to that fourth row. Yarn over, pull up a loop. And yarn over two times until there's no more loops on your hook. Yarn over through two loops. You guys should know it by now. All right, and just like the previous rows, we are going to back loop single crochet into the next three stitches, followed by a connected quadruple single crochet. So pause your video here, and as usual, I'll work the last few stitches with you. We've made it to the last stitch in row number 12, and your last stitch should be a quadruple, well, a connected quadruple single crochet. So we'll work that together. You might notice my stitches are a little bit wobbly on here because I've taken this out to film it several times for this very last stitch. <laughs> All right, as usual, yarn over and pull through two until there's no more loops on your hook. All right, if you are a size small, you are going to fasten off right now. If you're a size medium, you're gonna repeat rows five through eight. If you are a size large, you're gonna repeat rows five through 12. Okay guys, I'm gonna leave a timestamp below on exactly where row five starts. So remember, mediums, rows five through eight, and large, rows uh, five through 12. Pause your video here, and I'll meet you at the completion of those rows. First, I want you to turn your slipper inside out and we're just gonna close off the heel. So first, I want you to put your hook through both loops of the front panel and both loops of the back panel. Yarn over and pull through. We're just gonna slip stitch this whole thing closed. So through the front panel, through the back, and slip stitch. You're gonna do that all the way down to the end. So pause your video here and Fasten off when you make it to the very end. All right, we completed our heel, so make sure you put your slipper back to the right side out because it's all closed off, closed off now. So what we're gonna do for the very last round, we're just gonna place evenly place single crochets around the opening of the ankle. I just attached the yarn to the very back half of the heel. So we're gonna chain one and evenly place single crochets all the way around the ankle. If you have problems 
um, placing your single crochets evenly. Each row, uh, you can put one single crochet per row going all the way around. Hope that makes sense. So pause your video here, continue placing single crochets all the way around the ankle. Once you make it to the end, we're just going to slip stitch to join and fasten off your work and you're all done. If you enjoyed this slipper tutorial, I have a lot more. Make sure you check it out and I'll see you all on the very next video. Bye guys.